Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. Birmingham Swing Festival. I don't even know if I can say it right. I'd love to be able to have a British accent. Man, man, oh man. Welcome everybody to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. And I am excited to scrutinize another Lindy Hop video and give you my professional opinion as a dancer and judge. One of my favorite things to do is create uh, new ways to move in Lindy Hop respectfully to the art form, uh, adding a tremendous amount of value without taking anything away from it. I spent hours in our studio uh, putting together videos and getting footage of new ideas for our school every single week. But my second favorite thing to do is look at other dancers and try to identify those creative dancers who's who are going to push the art form forward for years to come. So with this video, I'm excited to look at this one and see through the lens of a judge who's searching for creativity and a balance of control, right? So I'm looking for the dancer who can balance control and creativity all together. They don't have to be perfect, but I'm looking for that person. So I like to put my ideas out there, folks. None of us judges are neutral. Everyone has some type of standard of how they decide what's good dancing and what isn't. You will just have the benefit of having mine uh, so you can have a solid reference point on some things that are objective and the things that are subjective. So let's get right into this one. And here we go. All right, let's see what happens. I see a band back there, but I'm not sure if that's the band playing the song. Nah, okay. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> so much, this couple in the front, they've got some timing. I gotta, I gotta watch them. I'm not one of those dancers that try to get to the front and like make the judges see, see me all the time, but sometimes it helps. Sometimes it helps. <laughs> I see that head. Uh, it's amazing. There's, I watch so many of these videos and people are from different countries, but it's amazing to see the natural human emotion to this American music. And they all kind of put on this persona. And it's hard. I, I think it's a more elemental emotion. It's very human. I love it. Okay, so it's this format, two at a time. I've got to vacillate between the both. Let's see if I don't miss something. <laughs> yes. Yes. Where's my pen? <laughs> yeah! 
<laughs> See, naturally, my eyes are going to what looks different. And right now, I'm looking at the couple on my right, which she's got the golden brown pants. He's really tall, got the large beard. And what I like so far, there are little things that she's doing with her hands and little things he's doing with his hands that allow me to understand a little bit more of their personality. I love just the, the natural quirkiness of people. Now the other couple, there's nothing wrong with what they're doing. They've got the control of the technique. I'm just missing the element of who are they? Where's that creativity? Where's the weirdness? Something that makes me go, what's more here? All right, let's see what happens with this. Uh. <laughs> yes. All right, let's see what happens. So my pick on that last one goes to the couple on the right. Tall guy, shorter lady. So my eyes as a judge, I'm looking for different. What's different? Both of these couples have control of the technique. So now where do I go? I have to look for that distinguishing factor that makes the couple really special. <laughs> I love when the music does this it like forces you to stop and kind of be weird a little bit I love it Yes! Alright, that's a tough one to judge. I'm going to have to go with a couple on the right. All right. Come on. Yeah, I like that turn. I like that turn. All right, so my, my eyes are going to the distinction. Right, and so far, my eyes are going to the couple on the right. She's got the blue, I think it's a dark blue with green highlights on it. And he's got the suit on. 
They're working well together. Both of these couples are just as competent when it comes to the technique. But I think the couple on the right, they're a little bit more ambitious and taking risks and making themselves more distinct. So I've, I've got to go with them. <laughs> yes, yes. All right, looks like that was it. And now we have an all skate. All right, let's see what happens. really am enjoying this competition because the tempos aren't too fast. There's something special when the tempo is just fast enough where you can improvise a little bit more and not be forced into a Charleston pattern the whole time. Whoever's DJing this set is really, really good. I love I really love the song choices, so. Yes. Oh, I thought they were gonna swap partners. It looked like it was going to be a steel dance competition. That's funny. Hey, I see that hand. swing festival yes that was actually really fun that was fun man that DJ he whoever it was they had some really really good song choices they used a little bit of that jump blues feeling I know uh, when it's a late night and I just want to kind of groove a little bit and feel the music more it's something about the tone of like a little bit uh, later those song choices like in late 40s, early 50s, I love that sound. A lot of people call it jump blues, but I love it. I love it. I love it. And this was an interesting competition. Obviously, the format, you know, you have to quickly pick from left to right, you know, which couple. Um, and so even with that, the limitations with that format, it makes it actually easier for me to figure out the distinctions between one couple and the other. 
Because obviously, if they're in a competition like this, we can assume they know how to manipulate the technique. I like to look at that concept as control, right? So that's my fundamental thing I go to first in a competition is to see, can I see a couple control the technique? Well, what's the technique? Well, for me, it's two people come together as one body, sharing energy at different points. Can I see the leader create energy and move it to the follower? and it'd be a seamless process so my eyes could actually see it, or will they both kind of be distracting to one another? And I think, I think most of the couples had this, if I'm gonna be fair, it was pretty obvious that most of them could control the technique. So immediately I could not go to that as the deciding factor to pick a couple. So if every couple had that, I had to look at the things that made them unique, the timing of certain things that they would emphasize in the music um, and their creativity. Some of them were doing some interesting little things together as a couple, uh, particularly, I mean, I think it was the first and second song. There were a lot of breaks that kind of forced the dancers to choose to emphasize the break or kind of ignore the break. And so some of the couples had it better than others when it came to recognizing that timing. And even when they emphasized the timing, some of them allowed themselves to demonstrate a little bit more of their uniqueness in a way that didn't compromise the control of the technique. So I, I immediately went to that as a default, as a judge. And so my top three in looking at this, and I'm excited to see where these dancers go because I remember being at this level in a competition and your, your creativity senses are really high, you wanna try different things all the time, don't stop doing that because that's the part that you end up losing when you master the technique. And that part you lose is just the real part of you, the ingenuity and creativity. So uh, first, I gotta give a shout out to third place in my mind. This was a tough pick for third place. It was a lady, uh, she had a black dress on, short hair, really, really, really short hair, she had glasses, and her partner had blue pants on with a white shirt. They were the best technicians for me. They really understood how to use the technique, how to control it. They were a little bit more conservative. And let's say the lead was a little bit more reserved, more uh, conservative on expressing himself a little bit uh, with syncopations. Can't take that away from him. That's their personality, that's their style. But in watching them uh, compared to everybody else, I think they had the best control of the technique in my mind, just watching it. So if you've got technique, just the control of the technique, the craftsmanship aspect, that's at least gonna get you third place in my book. Third place. They also had some pretty good timing. They, they didn't emphasize uh, some of those breaks uh, all the time, which isn't a bad thing, but I would have loved to see a little bit more with that couple, a little bit more. I would have probably had them a little higher uh, if I saw a little bit more personality in, the, in those breaks and the timing. So. Top notch, they're probably first on the technique part, but as a whole, we can't just judge the competition on technique or everybody will just look the same, right? So third place for me, great job guys. They killed it, they crushed it. Um, second place for me was a little bit more challenging. There was, uh, it was a couple, the gentleman had a black suit on. He was also a little taller and the follower had a blue dress. I think it was like a navy, but it had like green flowers on it. I liked, a lot of their uh, syncopations. They had some great syncopations. Now, for me, a syncopation is a rhythm inside of a rhythm. So everybody's dancing in the metronome, but they're also like doing stuff with their feet while they do that. I like that. I like that. I could hear many of the instruments more when I can see those instruments embellished with dancing. That's beautiful. I also liked their timing. They had a lot of things that they were emphasizing on those breaks. Uh, where it highlighted both the, the leader's movement and the follower. It was kind of like visual leading, which isn't a bad thing. We have a lot of those moves in Lindy Hop where we kind of point at each other. Some of you think you're leading that, <laughs> which you're not, right? You're not actually leading or following that. You're just kind of looking at each other and going, remember this? Yes, remember that. Let's do it. So they had a couple of those moves that I like. I don't say people should do it all the time, you know, and and you know, regardless of the control part of the technique and sharing energy, but sometimes there's some visual matching, which I like, that's good. And they, they did that the best in my mind. That was their highlight for me. So that's why I have them in second. Obviously they did the control part well, but obviously 
to me, it, it boils down to who can be the most creative. And there were there was one couple that stood out to, the most to me that was the most creative. And I have to give it to the couple. It was the very first couple on the right. It was the gentleman who was really tall. He had a beard. I think he had like the man bun a little bit. His partner was a little shorter than him. And I liked it. I could take them out in a silhouette, right, and put them like on a piece of paper and just draw the lines of them. And if I knew their names based on their dancing, I could identify them. That's that's how how distinctive they were for me. It was different. They weren't doing the same tone in their movement. They were things were kind of choppy sometimes. Things were kind of smooth sometimes. There were some syncopations that were thrown in there. There were some weird hand movements and choreography. That's that's what makes Lindy Hop special. Is it's this delicate balance of creativity and craftsmanship. Think about it. Just even in the music, we got the rhythm section that holds the rhythm down, but then we got the soloist, the distinct personality, that melodious part of the song that we all hear and hum usually is accredited to the soloist, that part that is so special and unique. So that's that balance that I'm looking for. And I'm looking more so for the creativity, right? Because obviously if you don't have the control part, why are you in a competition, right? <laughs> that's just basic swing rhythm. It's just swing. So um, great job. That first couple, congratulations. In my mind, they crushed that competition. Um, I, if I'm a student and I was looking at that, I would probably go to them and say, hey, can you show me that move that you did? Of course, he's probably going to be like, what move? I don't remember. <laughs> I was doing too many moves. But if I was new, that's who I would go to to inspire me to keep going in my swing dancing journey. So that's that's what I look for, guys. When I am looking at a competition, I am trying to take it all in as if I haven't been sold yet on Lindy Hop and who can sell me into this wonderful art form so I can find my little unique creative spot to influence dancers in the future. So who do you think won this competition? That's my opinion on that. You know I'm gonna give you guys that all the time. Uh, but you might look at it a different way. Was the dancers I selected overrated? Did you have another favorite that you thought should have won that competition? Let me know in the comments section. If you guys haven't done a Jack and Jill like this, you should. It's rooted in social dance, which is 50% of Lindy Hop. We got a performance part, but we also got social dance. That's the part that keeps you involved with the dance. It's really, really fun. So. Um, I encourage you to take a class from some of those dancers if they're teaching lessons. I encourage you to search them out, find them. There's big events around the world where you can go and learn how to swing dance. If you are at home and you want to learn how to swing dance, um, check out some of my free courses below. We uh, focus primarily in our school in demystifying the complexity of swing dance so that you can fix yourself while you're social dancing. Isn't that liberating? It's awesome if you can do that. So if you like that, check out the classes below. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Who do you think should have won this competition? And if you haven't already, you should check out Birmingham Swing Festival in 2020. Let's hope they do have the event again. And uh, I'm, I'm sure you will have a fantastic time. So if I don't see you in class online, I will see you in the next reaction video. Oh.